Hey guys, so in this video, we will be discussing about one of the most important OOPS concept, which is called as abstraction. Okay, so those who are newbie who will be understanding this from depth, please mark these words. These are very important. Okay, abstraction, inheritance, encapsulation, polymorphism, whatever OOPS concept are there, these are very much important for interview perspective. Okay, and for your implementation perspective as well in your project, this is very much useful. So let's get started and understand how this abstraction works and what is its important in the world of Java as well as in real life. So from the word itself, you can understand abstraction means you are the English meaning of abstraction means you are hiding that thing. Okay, so in this Java abstraction and hiding are different scenarios, but in abstraction, what it happens like you are basically making the particular thing abstract from a particular thing. Okay, so let's suppose you want you want to cook certain food for your relatives or for your guest. Okay, but you don't want to share the recipe with your guest. Then what you have to do, you just will cook, you will cook your uh, food and you will just give it to your guest. So uh, the guest will enjoy the food, they will relish the food, they will taste, they will tell that the taste of the food is very good. But whenever they ask like what is the recipe, then you will not tell them. Okay, or you can tell that it's a secret, just like KFC secret, okay, Pepsi secret, Coca-Cola secret. They will not tell you how they are preparing that. So those things are abstract from you, okay but you are getting the end result that is most important okay so that's in a layman language how abstraction works and what it actually means so let me explain you in the world of java how is abstraction working over here so for understanding abstraction there are three important concepts that you have to understand the, the abstraction works in three important steps so what are the three important steps that we will learn over here so first important steps in uh, learning abstraction is first there will be one interface okay there will be one interface and there will be various implementations for that inter interface okay so let's suppose there uh, i am taking an example of a bank okay so i am taking an example of bank in bank so many features are there right you can do like saving bank deposit okay you can open your current account okay you can open your loan account you can open lot of types of accounts in in a particular bank but I tell you everything no right few all of the things are hidden from you okay but they will tell you only those things which you want to open okay so let's suppose you went to a new bank and you want to open a saving account with that so the bank will not tell you how can you open your loan account how can you open your current account so that bank will not tell you so for them specifically a dedicated person is there to help you with what you actually want so it will hide or it will make other features of the bank abstract okay so first the first thing here it is it is you have to create one interface over here okay this is very important first you have to create one interface okay and this bank will have few features like there you can deposit money you can withdraw money okay so you can take like deposit okay you can have deposit and you can have withdraw methods okay so these are abstract method there is no body in that okay so first point that we have to understand is we have to generalize all the behaviors of the implementation class. So there is an interface that means there must be some implementation class. Okay. So if you are having basic understanding of interface and the classes, then you might be knowing that if there is an interface, they need to have an implementation class. Otherwise, there is no use of interface only, right? If you are creating only interface, if you are creating only abstract class, then there is not much use of it. Okay. So if there is interface then there needs to have an implementation class so first point is generalize all the behaviors of implementation class generalize all the behaviors of implementation class okay this is the first step that we have to understand in abstraction then what we have to do is after generalizing all the behavior of implementation class then we have to store it in an interface reference variable so first of all we have to create an object of this implementation class and after creating the object of implementation class you have to store it in interface reference interface reference okay and then third step is 
from that interface reference which is created in the step number two you have to call the methods of the implementation class so whenever there is one implementation class which uh, implements this bank interface it will override these two methods right deposit and withdraw method will be overridden because these will vary okay so if some person is going to icici bank some person is going to sbi bank so they will deposit or they will withdraw different amount of money right they will not withdraw same amount of money so if there is a lot of banks okay so they will inherit this bank features and they will make some changes by overriding these methods deposit and withdraw method so second thing is from these reference from interface reference we have to call the methods of implementation class methods of implementation class okay so this these are the three steps that we have to do in abstraction so let go again ahead one second so let me remove this part and now let's jump on to the code with real time example like with respect to bank how can you implement abstraction with respect to bank okay so you have given all the theory to the interviewer now so now next step is they can ask you can you code it with the help of code can you explain how abstraction is working in java so for that we need to tell you like how it is working okay so for working implementation you have to first create one bank okay so this will be interface so this is the sign to represent interface okay so you can tell like this is the interface bank is the interface okay and within that bank there will be two overridden method there will be two methods okay so first method is deposit method and second method is withdraw method okay so these two methods will be present in, in this bank interface okay so within this bank there can be lot of different type of accounts that can be opened okay so if we take an example like what all types of account can be open so i can open here loan account okay i can open here saving account okay and i can open here current account as well and there are lot of a different type of account like you can open mps account also you can open your ppf account also there are different type of accounts that can be open so here i am considering only these three as of now so here what is happening these two methods will be overridden in this implementation classes okay so these are the classes okay which is implementing the bank interface so within this there will be two methods deposit and withdraw method so that will be overridden in this loan account class and this within this you will override and that it override you will give over here and that it override and you will write public void deposit and within this you can give sop anything you can you can write your business logic over here so here i am simply giving sop this is loan account this is loan account so this is one of the overridden method okay and then is you can write public void withdraw method okay you can write public void withdraw method and within that you can write sop withdrawal account okay withdrawing amount withdrawing amount so this we can write in loan account class same thing you can do in saving account same thing you can do in current account okay so basically you can override this method and you can write your own business logic in there so what is the next step now we have created all the three classes which implements the bank interface so uh, one one important thing is missing over here which is we have to create one big implementation bank functionality class okay so that bank functionality class will ask like which one will you, you want to open so all you one person will not open all the accounts right one person has come to the bank to open one of these account okay so there may be a chance that he wants to open multiple accounts but i am considering real time scenario where a person has come to the uh, bank to open one of these accounts so how can you handle that using abstraction so for that what we have to do we have to create one class okay so here i am creating one class i hope you can see it over here so i am creating one bank functionality class b uh, b f u n c okay bank functionality class i am creating okay 
so this bank functionality class will be there okay and within that there will be return type okay what will be the return type what will be the return type the return type will be interface okay so bank will be my return type over here okay so here i will uh, write one method what will be my method what is the type of account so here i will write account type account type and here in bracket i will be passing the type of the account so here i am passing string string type so look at it very closely okay it's very important this is a banking functionality implementation class it is when a particular person is coming to a bank he or she will tell you what type of account that person want to open in your bank so if the person has chosen type as loan account okay so in the main method you will create one main method okay so what will happen when you open this main method so in main method what will you do you will create you will create the object of this particular class okay so you will create the object of this bank functionality class bank functionality b equal to new bank functionality okay so you have created bank functionality object now so now okay so with the help of this object what you will do what was the first step generalize all the behavior of the implementation classes so i have generalized all the behaviors of the implementation class okay so now we will do object creation of the implementation class okay so what we will do now we will create the object of this bank functionality class and then after that we will call this method account type okay so we will call this account type method okay and we will store it in interface reference which is bank bank ref i hope you are getting this line these two lines are very important okay so what we have created i am telling you from starting what we have created so i have created one first interface i have created second step is we will create three accounts okay which will implement the bank and will override these two method deposit and withdraw method okay so three classes one interface till now it's clear now so you have implemented those methods in all these three classes now third step is we have to create one big implementation bank functionality implementation class where the person who is coming to the bank he can tell like i want to open loan account or saving account or current account any one of them okay so for that i have created the object of bank functionality class okay i have created one method account type and here i am passing the string type okay so here the customer will ask like what type of account so loan account so loan account will be there as a type so if saving account saving account will be coming here as a type if it's current account and current account will be coming here as a type so this is very important okay so now here what we will do we will store it in interface reference and with the help of this bank functionality class object i will call this account type method and here i will pass what let's suppose i am passing loan account la la okay so like this we have to call and from this ref bank reference i have to call either deposit method or withdraw method okay anything you want to show to the console you can just print it over here so this is the way of implementing abstraction okay so here what we have to do so let's remove this part okay to show you better okay so i hope you can see this screen part now so what we have written i have created one class where it is written bank functionality class and here the return type is of interface just bank type okay the method which is created over here the return type is of interface bank type and method is account type and here we are passing the type what type of account the person wants to open in your bank okay so within that we have to write the logic okay what logic we will write over here first i will check here what is the type so if type equal to equal to la okay then what we have to do we have to return what we have to return over here guys tell me what we have to return we have to return this loan account class which we had created before if you remember so here we will return return new loan account so here it is creating the object of that class loan account class okay so now this is getting returned from this if type is equal to la la means loan account else if we will write else if now okay so here we will write else if 
इफ टाइप Type is equal to equal to for saving account. Let's suppose I'm considering S A. Okay, so if type equal to equal to S A from uh, main method, let's suppose I have passed here S A. Then that means it's a saving account. Customer has come here to open the saving account. So here what we have, what we will do over here, we will uh, write return new saving account. Okay, so like that we will be returning if the type is saving account. Else, if same thing we will write for current account. Okay. Else, if type is equal to equal to C A, let's suppose C A represents current account. So I will return new current account from there. It's very simple. So from main method, you just have to pass the type, and all other log logics are hidden. Okay. And the customer who is coming to the bank, he is not aware of what all functionalities are present in that bank. Okay. So it just will inform like I want to open the loan account. The manager over there or the person who is sitting over there they can directly guide that person how they can open their loan account okay so these are the ways of doing the abstraction okay so within 20 minutes i think i have told you how to implement this abstraction so you can answer any type of question if the, the, the interviewer is asking to you okay so this is the specific implementation part so if the interviewer asks you what is abstraction abstraction is hiding the implementation details of the class and exposing only the behaviors okay so it will expose only the behaviors and it will hide all its implementation okay so abstraction is hiding the implementation details of the class and exposing only the behaviors of the object this is called abstraction and what are the three steps for abstraction the first step is generalize all the behaviors of implementation class okay second step is create the object of implementation class and store it in, in interface reference variable and third step is with the help of that interface reference variable call the objects of the implementation classes okay so if you tell this theoretical part the interviewer will be happy and the next thing that they, he can ask you is write down the code to implement the abstraction so you can take any example you can take the example of vehicle you can take the example of let's suppose any transporting instrument okay any example you can take i've taken this bank very famous example so you can also take this example to explain the interviewer how abstraction works here okay so this is the way we can implement abstraction so in the next video we'll be learning one more oops concept okay so that you can get a better clarity and idea of it so we'll see in the next lecture till then bye bye